in the cruise from Jersey to the 2K and just going to do a little exercise regarding a vertical navigation and setting up a vertical navigation profile and what we're going to have a look at is really just utilize a waypoint and, and a long track offset and also changing the vertical profile descent rate so let's imagine that air traffic control have asked us to uh, descend to be 5,000 feet at um, five miles before the Alpha Bravo Bravo uh, Abbeville BOR. Uh, we're currently at 9,000 feet and we have no vertical navigations or altitudes loaded in our flight plan at the moment. So nice and simply what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down and have Alpha Bravo Bravo with the cursor and it doesn't matter in the Cirrus if you've got the dotted cursor or even if you have the solid FMS, cur FMS cursor it doesn't make any difference either way and then what we're going to do now is we're just going to select the long track offset button and what that will do is that will create a new waypoint and here it's asking us for minus something nautical miles and we said that we wanted to be level at five miles before Abbeville so here at the moment it says zero all I'm going to do is type in a five to give us the minus five miles and then push enter that will create a temporary waypoint at minus five miles before Abbeville it will move across to the altitude column which now would dial in 5000 and be careful which software you have sometimes you can dial in 5000 or sometimes you might just dial in 5000 so just a five zero and then when we push enter again it will then select up the current vertical navigation profile and show us here that if we wanted to descend at 5,000 to 5,000 feet, five miles before Abbeville, then what we will discover is that in white, it will be showing us here that we will still cross Dieppe at 9,000 feet, but in blue is the vertical navigation profile, and down here is currently giving us an 800 foot a minute rate of descent. Now, if we wanted to change that 800 foot a minute rate of descent to, let's say, 1,000 feet a minute, then all we'd have to do is come down to the vertical profile button or the VNV button, push that, that will highlight the vertical speed target. We can change that to whatever we want. So let's say 1,000 feet per minute. Once you've done that and push enter and then turn off the cursor, it will change our flight path angle to maybe 3.6 degrees. That might be a little bit much, but just for the uh, demonstration. And now it's showing us that, in fact, our top of descent will start in 41 minutes and 36 seconds and here we're still crossing Dieppe at 9,000 feet. So if this is a little bit too much for you, you can always go back into the VNV profile, push the button again, it highlights it again. If you just want 800 feet a minute, you can change that, push enter, and it will change this once you turn the cursor off to 2.9 and give us a different rate of descent. Then after we're in the cruise, and when we got one minute to go to our top of descent, then that's going to give us the audible warning if we would like to accept and actually follow that vertical navigation profile. So that's setting up a vertical navigation profile based upon a distance from a beacon and an altitude we'd like to descend to. November 10, Charlie Delta, no more speed restriction, uh, report to descend. No more speed restriction, report to descend. Uh, November 10, Charlie Delta, request descend uh, 2,000 feet for Osdit. November 10, Charlie Delta, descend initially 3,000 feet, QNH 1036. Descend initially 3,000 feet, QNH 1036, November 10, Charlie Delta. Okay, so what we can see here is we've got... Vertical track. The vertical track has just given us a warning with our top of descent. And our top of descent actually is giving us 3,000, uh, 2,000 feet for Osdit, but they've cleared us to 3,000 feet. So in fact, yeah, if you dial in 3,000 feet, even though it says two here, that's it. There's our vertical profile. And then down on the autopilot, you can then go VNV. Okay, just VNV, which now displays vertical path. So what that does is that when you intercept your vertical path, the aircraft will start going down and following your vertical path 
based upon the information that you've given it for the flight path angle and the vertical speed target and it's going to start its descent in about 10 seconds and we can see here it's going to start following that vertical path there you go V path has taken over on the scoreboard altitude selected 3000 feet the aircraft is pitching down to go down the vertical profile and you can back off the power according associated with what you want to do there you go and now we're going down and what we now can see is we now see a bottom of descent and our altitude select part is here and we can see our bottom of descent on the screen also but this time it will level off at 3,000 feet but it will still follow the 2,000 foot profile so therefore we should expect it to level off before we get to Osdit because our altitude select is at 3,000 at any time they clear us further down to 2,000 we can just change the altitude and then go from there Neil approach, bonjour, Golf Sierra Hotel Uniform Golf yeah, you see here by changing the barometric setting We've now changed the altitude and now we've changed our vertical path. So what's going to happen now is the aircraft's going to pitch down quite dramatically to try and regain its vertical path. So you've got to be quite careful if you're on a flight level following a vertical path and then you change the barometric setting, then it might either level off because it's gone up or level off or descend down quicker because it's now got to regain the vertical path because the barometric setting has changed especially when it's quite dramatic going from 1013 or standard to a higher or lower barometric pressure 